Carl, welcome to Tour de Cons. I can't believe, of all people, that this is the first time I'm having you on. Hey, well, well, I'm I'm still happy to be here. <laughs> it's been, I mean, I've had a relationship with you for years now, uh, because of Indie Popcon. Uh, in fact, you and I were just reminiscing. The first time we met was uh, we were doing Indianapolis Comic Con. And you had a booth and you were like, hey, I saw your panel. You guys are great. Could you come to Indie PopCon? And we're like, what's that? And now we, <laughs> we know. We still get that. What's uh, that? <laughs> not, not in our house. You are you are a daily uh, conversation around here. Uh, so you expanded this year. Uh, oh, I should start off by saying this is Carl Doniger. Carl, uh, why don't you tell people who you are, what you do, and then we're going to talk about the cons. Oh, uh, born and raised in Indiana, I, no apologies, uh, the, uh, went to Indiana University, I happen to be wearing that shirt today, uh, I'm usually completely decked out of PopCon stuff because that's 90% of my wardrobe anymore, right. um, but, the, uh, but uh, I'm a computer geek, business school grad, Eagle Scout, all, all those crazy geeky things that you could possibly do in life, uh, did, computer, did the computer industry uh, for many years, uh event management fell in my lap and now 10 years later i'm running two huge pop culture cons so oh, i love it i love it <laughs> i i you know you know everything you said gets me going it's just fantastic now you got a business degree before we get into this now we got to talk about that because sure. i'm a business nerd too if you haven't been able to figure that one out what'd you get did you get an mba i, I have not no what'd you uh, get uh, it just uh, it's a was computer information systems, which is akin to informatics now. So uh, it, they it's it, it was as geeky as you could get in the nineties yeah. uh, as far as computers went. So um, that was a while ago, thirty years now almost. And uh, uh, yeah, so computer computer information systems was the degree through uh, the Kelly School of Business. Before it, was called, before it was called the Kelly School of Business. It was just the business school back then. All right. All right. I, you should be wearing a, a shirt that says business school. Yeah. Uh, and then people go, yeah, business school? Sure, Carl. Sure. Well, uh, I, was, I was a manager for the IU basketball team, and I'm a Big Ten champion, and I've been to the Final Four. So that was oh, that's hey. where it sure came from. So. Wait, you played basketball? Uh, I, kind of. Uh, I was... I would have been good enough for a, a crappy Division One team or or Division Two good academic school. <laughs> As somebody who was absolutely horrible at basketball, I salute you. I would have looked up to you. I I'm the worst. I'm so. I'm 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 six two, so I'm I'm right in the cusp of as short as you can be these days. Right. But my my hands are baby hands. They're tiny, comparatively speaking. Right. To Palm of the basketball is not happening. Compared to modern human beings, my hands are tiny. Uh, so I was never, ever going to be able to handle the ball the way even an average person can today. Ah, uh, all right. Yeah. So I was I was, I was, was a manager. This I might be the first time I've done. Them at, I could still beat them at jump shooting and all that fun stuff. But See? Well, I mean, Steve Kerr did it for the Bulls. Look at that. I just made a basketball reference. Uh, first time in 10 years of my network, I think, that I've talked sports. You brought it <laughs> out of me, Carl. <laughs> but nerdy stuff, I've talked a lot. So you've got, you're running two cons now. It's PopCon. We already said yeah. that. You've got Indie PopCon, which is the one that we've been to a number of times. Uh, I talk about all the time. Uh, the but now idea. you've got a new one. Yeah. First time you're breaking the seal on Louisville. Louisville. Yeah. We, uh, it fell yeah, in Say our it lap. right. Louisville. Well, I, yeah. There's so many different pronunciations of it. So you live in Illinois. Right? Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that drives me nuts too. So, uh, yeah. Being in the Midwest, we know how to pronounce Midwest things like Eau Claire and Terre Haute. And, right. Uh, right. But, but the, uh, Bondalac. Uh, yeah, but we, yeah, fun to laugh. Yeah. So, but we, it kind of fell in our lap. So, um, Louisville had no significant pop culture show, and it's a pretty big metro area. I think there's right. six or 700,000 people. So, it kind of it fell in our lap, and it's a huge, nice convention center, and it's right next to the airport. So, driving the celebrities across the road is going to be very easy, and uh, uh, it, it's, it's going to be pretty cool. It, uh, we're, we we had done one back in 2018 up in Fort Wayne, uh, but and that was a miniature popcon. 
uh, just to try out that model. <clears throat> and uh, we didn't fit into their schedule again in 2019. And then 2020 happened. Right. Just leave that at that. But uh, so, but Louisville is the whole shebang. We're rolling out the whole red carpet. So everything that PopCon does is going to be in Louisville. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, let's talk dates. Uh, Louisville is June 16th through 18th. So yeah, and, depending on when you're listening to this, it's now. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. They're going to hear this immediately. So th- I want this to get out there right away. Uh, and then Indie PopCon is August 25th through 27th. So we are still at the beginning of June. Uh, so it's like not next weekend, but the following weekend, I think, is when uh, Louisville happens. Yep. So everybody can jump in on that. Uh, go to this con. Show it support. Show it love. I'm a big fan of Indie PopCon. I am really, really disappointed I can't go to Louisville this year. Uh, but you already know it's on my calendar for next year, and there is there has to be some kind of uh, act of God to stop me from going next time. So, all right, all right. Uh, me too. So we're there. Yeah, right. You too. <laughs> all right. Um. So okay, what makes unique? Or what a weird way to say it. What makes popcon unique there we go i found a way to ask that question i i I apologize to any of your listeners for the statement because i I, i'm guessing that this is a much more heavy cron crowd than than other other uh shows that i've been on but uh my my quick elevator pitch is picture in your head a comic book convention and now picture yourself actually having fun at that event and that (laughs) is popcon you know as somebody who's been a bunch of times, I, I would say fun is your word. I yeah. mean, it really is. You try on every level to make it fun. And one thing that that uh, as soon as you said that, that, that no one else would know, uh, even at the end of the event, when I could barely walk and I'm all crabby, I turn into crabby Rob, up comes Carl on his little cart smiling and beaming hey guys you stood there and talked to us for 20 minutes you're just happy because you're having fun yeah i can't i can't turn off until uh tuesday pretty much and then i'm gone i'm done for the rest of the week so (laughs) i'm I'm not i'm in bed the rest of the time because i just i'm exhausted but yeah it's uh we anyone that's been to events like ours you you go in you beeline it for a celebrity and you stand in their line, you get their autograph, you may go get their photo op, and then you walk through the vendor hall and you leave. That is the polar opposite of what we're trying to do at PopCon. Right. We we have a very interactive vendor floor. Uh, you can't really walk 10 feet without saying, oh, that's cool, or hey, I want to participate in that. Uh, we have uh, a, a lot of, we have dozens of celebrities at all our events. So we still got, we still tick that box. Uh, but we will have laser tag, escape rooms, tabletop board gaming, video gaming. Uh, um, uh, in Indianapolis, we have an international film festival. We have podcast awards. We have live podcasts to both of them. This year, we're adding uh, uh, evening parties with DJs and rock bands and it, it, the the whole the whole nine yards. Uh, in we're going to have drag show because it's Pride Weekend in Louisville on Friday night and uh, the sixteenth. And it, we're there's just, you can't, uh, oh, we have Nerf battles. I forgot about that. We have a kid zone where they can actually learn how to podcast on real podcasting equipment this year. Uh, oh, those poor parents, because I know where that leads, and that means they never leave the basement. It, but they know where <laughs> they are then, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Take it, yeah. At least take it to the garage so you're of course, outside. They're 54, and they're still in the in the basement, but you know where they are. <laughs> no more tracking my iPhone. Oh, they're right. in the basement still. Right. But yeah, uh, there's just going to be lots of opportunities. We have we have more artists than most art fe- street art festivals. We have uh, a- a- amazing vendors from all over the country at both shows uh, selling everything from here to Timbuktu. So it's uh, it, it, there's just there's a palpable feel at PopCon that most other events don't capture. And a lot, a lot of that is to do with the people that the, just the attendees. They're they're just good family friend groups that yeah. come every year and just have a fantastic time. They they treat PopCon like a, an annual reunion, and it's just there's just a, a 
There, there's just everyone's so kind to everyone else. We have some of the we have some of the best cosplay in the country every year. It continues to blow me away. Even from year one, we had a 18 foot tall Canadian Yeti cosplay. <laughs> like it was huge. <laughs> But I mean, it, that's but, the best. <laughs> but it just, it continues to blow me away, the, the level of cosplay that comes in. Uh, but the attendees that, it, of course, the cosplay sticks out like a sore thumb, uh, but you don't have to come in cosplay because right. the vast majority of people are not in cosplay. You just see the ones that are very clearly. Uh, right, right. Don't don't feel pressure. Just come as you are. Come in your Sunday, come in your Sunday clothes and comfortable shoes. And uh, it, it's just a lot of, it's just a lot of fun. Well, and I will say that was something uh, going to PopCon and being part of that group. Uh, one thing that really strikes me is the the uh, the level of I'm I'm searching for my words here. I don't want to say commitment to the con, but but passion for the con. So, like, I'm friends with KJ McGlynn, who's KJ on the air. Uh, KJ, when I first had her at Indie PopCon, was just excited to go. She had this nerdy radio show or whatever. She's like, oh, you're going to have me on this podcast marathon and all oh, that's fun. Now I see she's like super active with PopCon. Rachel she's Friend very, from Five-ish so Fangirls, yeah, super she, active with PopCon. You yeah, know, she, I... Yeah. She started her own social media company and she is our social media manager now. Oh, yeah. KJ is? No. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I so KJ is actually in I think my new book. I don't think she was in the first book. I think she's in the second book, Pod Life. Uh so yeah, she's I didn't know she was doing that. I knew that she had a paranormal show and I was about to write to her when we were done today because I thought of her and I was like, "Oh, I have a secret super secret paranormal project." Yeah. Uh and we're going to bring a little Love paranormal to PopCon, I think in Indy. Get ready, Carl. We're going to yeah. expand your universe with some paranormal. Well, yeah, uh, well, we, we added we added horror, so that's at least somewhere on the spectrum of paranormal. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I'm going to bring the horror too. I got lots of things for you, Carl, uh, because it it all has synergy, and that the, I think that's where it comes down to it for PopCon. Um, you're always open to the synergy of things, you know, more than a lot of the conventions that I see. Like they they they're a little later the game. Oh. TTRPG is popular. Let's give them a booth. You're like, oh no, it's popular. It's cool. Let's give them a room. Let's give a few tables. Let's get some people interested in this. Uh, paranormal. Yeah. There's a synergy between that and horror and fantasy and sci-fi. And why is that not here? X-Files was popular. You know, like you, you get that. And I think that's the flavor that I get when I'm there. And it does feel like old home week, you know? Um, I, I have incredible memories of, my podcast network, the people I work with, where we performed at PopCon, or we just walked around. And and truthfully, I've picked up so many people as either podcasters or fans or like people that now I realize as I'm talking, oh, they're friends that I met there the first time was PopCon. Like, that's what you want. You want that kind of social reach. And I yeah. think you achieve it, you know, and you're not, you're una, uh, an unabashed nerd too. I can tell by looking around at your office there. Uh, <laughs> so what was your entry point? Yeah. Hello, Kirk. This, this was my entry point. Star Trek? The original Star Trek. Absolutely. Yeah. You're a big original series guy, huh? Um, well, I, I like it all, but yeah, well, I, I mean, I'm old enough that it was in the first round of reruns when I, Me when too. I was born. So, yeah. yeah Sunday I, mornings, my dad watched it every Sunday, and I'd sit there watching, thinking, why doesn't all TV look like this? You yeah. know? And then, uh, what was it, In Search Of, the one with Leonard Nimoy? Yeah. And it was like, oh, Spock's on another show. And then I became addicted to that, which is where the paranormal addiction came in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I yeah. Watched 1999, and then when I was five, oh, Star Wars Martin was Landau, years. come on, yeah, he's an entry point too. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, you said Space 1999. I cut you off. What else? Oh, uh, well, but then when I when I was five, uh, that's when Star Wars came out, and that just changed the entire pop culture landscape forever. Yeah, I was nine, so I'm a little older than you. Uh, in fact, happy 50th birthday. I know how, know how old you are. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> Star Wars was, I remember Kevin Smith said one time that it was our generation's Vietnam, which is just an awful joke, but at the same time, 
he's right. It changed everything. 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 Uh, yeah. And I'll tell you a, a sidebar on that. I actually just referred a bunch of people to Indie PopCon. I've been selling off some of my old Star Wars toys, just trying to thin the herd here. And I keep getting these guys that come over. And I, I don't like flippers. I like people that are like, this is going on my shelf. And then they send me pictures of it on their shelf. And I keep telling them, like, you got to go to Indie PopCon. You got to check this out. It's your people. And they all have the same stories. I was eight. I was five. Star Wars came out. And everything else went out the window because my imagination blew up. Yeah. You know, I know people that books have done that. You know, uh, we just were talking to my daughter the other day about, like, who have you read the most of? And right away I said Stephen King. And I realized, yeah, because I found Stephen King early in high school. And I read every word I could get my hands on. And that caused this chain reaction. If you look at my bookshelves, it's horror, fantasy, all this genre stuff, and then nerdy business books. Uh, It is. Oh, speaking of original series, Carl, you ever seen this? I have. Read it. Have you? I haven't read it yet. I just got it. I didn't know somebody wrote a sequel to Star Trek The Motion Picture. My friend told me it's great, so I'm awfully excited yeah so okay let's talk about we're going to split it into two what are some of the features at louisville who's coming what what celebrities what are some of the the highlights so yeah i, I brought up my cheat sheet because there's we've got so much going on so we've got uh we'll, we'll just we'll just go through it real quick so we've got uh, uh ross marquand and um the uh, cooper anderson coming from the walking dead and then individually ross is a whole lot of things in marvel uh, and then um, Cooper was in uh, Shazam uh, recently as the as the adopted adoptive dad. So he was actually in the second movie quite a bit. Um, we've got uh, Yannick Truesdale and uh, uh, Scott and uh, um, Scott Patterson. I'm not finding him on my list. There he is. Um, but they're both from Gilmore Girls. Yeah. So there's a. We're, we're, we're expecting a huge Gilmore Girls fan group coming out for, for PopCon this year. Uh, we've got Emily Swallow, who could literally be the Mandalorian for as important as her character is. Oh, the yes. In the Mandalorian coming out. Uh, we've got uh, Michael Copan, Power Ranger. Uh, he, we've got Kyle Bear, who is uh, Dragon, Ball, uh, Dragon Ball and Street Fighter and Bleach and a whole bunch of anime yeah, you've got a lot of anime coming to this. I see that. Uh, we 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 always do because that's what we keep getting asked to bring. Honestly, it's uh, super popular, and that's voice, another. You follow that lead. The the voice actors are uh, very very good with their fans, like insanely good with their fans. So they they're part of that field that I'm talking about at PopCon. You yeah. you can just see they're 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 genuinely excited to meet their fans and that that that's that's worth every penny of flying them in um but that's also so we've got erica harlocker and alexis tipton and brandon mcginnis and uh todd habercorn who's major major um first party uh voices so uh um justin cook j michael tatum Brittany karbowski chris wecamp uh but then we've also got um Dante you're about to say my you're about to say two of mine i have a feeling that oh. i'm like we're getting there. Dying yeah. about okay, uh, but um, Dante Bosco, who has crossed from uh, in person with Hook, he was uh, uh, Rufio. Oh, Rufio, thank you, thank you, yep. Rufio from Hook, uh, which is of course fan favorite from the movie. Uh, but uh, he's he's also in Avatar: The Last Airbender as one of the main characters. So uh, that's generally one of the favorites i mean everybody that has ever seen avatar the last year bender absolutely loves that show right right uh, he was also then, in i, don't know if this was I just saw it on here he was also in but i'm a cheerleader which we just watched yeah. on our deck last summer yeah which he is was. one of those that a lot of people haven't seen they totally should great movie yeah, i mean it's yeah, natasha leone five stars uh but then we have the amazing duo and this may i don't know if this is who you're talking about but we've got roger clark and yes Bob coming roger and, clark yeah right dead character. redemption 2 yeah, they're they're video game voice actors. Uh, they were the main protagonists from both Red Red Dead One and Red Dead Two. But when they're together, I mean, they they have their own huge followings. So the, oh yes, but when we can get them together, they're so fun together. It is it is fantastic. And yeah, it's and Rob I, Whitehoff, right? Is that how you say his name? Weedoff, I believe. Weedoff, Rob Weedoff, Weedoff and Roger it's, Clark. It's, yeah, yeah, you can, yeah. It's it's like Illinois. So yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, 
uh, the yeah, I've actually he's his grandfather uh, is a grandfather, great uncle. I can't remember. Some somebody closely related to him was also on the IU basketball team. So I took him to an IU basketball game this season, and it was so much fun. So oh. we, we've kind of become uh, uh, good acquaintances on the side. He's fantastic. He he just lives uh, an hour south of me. So oh, in- these are the two. When I, I mean, there's a lot of great people on here, but these are the two because I do voice work, and I I love those games, and those two voices. I'm always like, God damn, I want to be in these games. I want to act with these two guys. Yeah, They're amazing. Amazing. Yeah. So what a catch you have there. Um, I, and we may even have a couple. Oh, we have Ming Chin coming in, who is comic genius. Uh, oh, comic Ming is genius. awesome. I know Ming. And uh, he is he's the best. In fact, that was one of them that hurt, too, because I'm like, I he was just here, I think at C2E2. We were writing back and forth, and I never saw, we never met up. Then I saw he was going to be at Louisville. I'm like, oh, I'll be able to hang out with Ming. Maybe we'll go out to dinner or something. It, I can't go. So well, yeah, you're you're killing me well, here. It, he he may surprise us and come back in August. We're 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 those are those are discussions being had. So we'll see. Maybe, maybe um, I'll maybe I'll give a gentle push on my end. We we also have uh, Tiffany Rice coming in, who is the spirit medium, and she's her she she has a separate performance that you can buy into. Uh, it's not it's not expensive and you can just you just get in and uh, you may be able to uh, this, since we're talking paranormal, but you may be able to uh, chat with some relatives again. So uh, it's it's pretty neat process that she's got going on there. So Maybe yeah, she we, can tell what's going to happen in the new Spider-Man movie uh, that comes out next summer. So. Yeah. And, and look in your I future know, who dies. Right. So I, I know we're only what, 30, 11 days out, something ridiculous. Uh, but we may even still have, we're working on two more celebrities right now. <laughs> for Fantastic. Last uh, so we'll see, we'll see. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, we we love our lineup and uh, we're, you, you can't have an event like ours without, without the celebrities to so come in and meet them because they, they would love to meet you and get their autograph, get a professional photo op with them. Uh, but then when you're, when you're done in the lines, go have some fun and, uh, with your smile on your face, you've got your you've got your photo, and yeah, it's it, popcorn is so much fun for that. Absolutely. All right, now we're going to talk Indiana. Yep. Who you got coming to Indy? We have maybe uh, Ming Chen. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have Naruto herself, uh, Melee Flanagan coming in. Uh, we have two guardians of the galaxy coming in with michael rooker and sean gunn michael uh, rooker is the greatest live if yeah. you've oh, not yeah. seen him at a panel he is the best that's a great great catch oh no no, uh, no doubt so but yeah we're super excited about having those two uh but then michael's also from walking dead and a yep. whole bunch of other properties um mall rats i think he was in mall yep. rats yeah and henry portrait of a serial killer yeah, uh, we've got uh, kids. Don't watch that one alone. Oof. We've got we've got Michelle Gomez coming in, who is in the new Sabrina show as the principal, and then Batty. Uh, she's she's also the master, master for those Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Yeah, was, she's was, a family was, favorite of ours. Oh, 100 percent. Oh, she was on Doom Patrol too, wasn't she? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Doom Patrol's awesome. So. Yeah. Yeah, uh, she's a big get. We've got Jason Font coming in. Uh, he is uh, from Power Rangers Time Force. We, uh, I, I, I hate to, I hate to do a, a, a denouement here, but the uh, we had uh, Jason David Frank coming to end sure. this year, um, and uh, it, 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 go, 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 hug your loved ones, folks. Yeah, uh, no kidding. Uh, yeah, but, and he was uh, always such a good guest at things too. Oh, hundred percent. So uh, yeah, that's that's super a rough duper one. fan favorite when he was. Uh, in 2019, I believe when we had him last, uh, he we had a walk up Make a Wish kid, and he took care of them. Nice. So this person drove from I don't remember where in the United States, knowing that Jason David Frank was going to be a PopCon that year, and uh, and he he did everything that they they wanted him to do, and it was so sweet, so sweet. Um, we've also got uh, uh, Tracy Lynn Cruz coming in. She's from Power Rangers in Space. 
Uh, so we, we, we can't, we got last year was the first year that we didn't have a single power ranger and we got, we got a lot of heck raised on us <laughs> for not having at least a power ranger. So I don't know that we're ever going to not, we're ever going to have a show that doesn't have a power ranger anymore. Uh, so, um, uh, we've got James Marsters coming, um, from yes. Fire Slayer. Um, uh, he's also, uh, from the Dragon Ball, te terrible Dragon Ball movie. No offense, J uh, James, it wasn't your fault. Uh, but uh, the, the live action movie. And uh, yeah, so that's that's a lot of fun. But James Marsters is a fan favorite too. Um, is, uh, uh, he's also in, in Angel, obviously, too. Um, we have the incomparable Patrick Warburton coming. That so, is, when you have him listed first, hell right you have him listed first. <laughs> he, we actually named our cat Putty after his character from Seinfeld. He That's is awesome. he's amazing. Absolutely is. It, it you you can close your eyes, hear his voice, know exactly who it is. Yep. 100%. Yep. Uh and then uh we have we have Tiffany Rice coming back to Spirit Medium. Uh super excited. Right. Uh, we have and then we have several anime folks coming in. So we've got uh, Kyle Phillips, Sunny Strait, uh Amber Lee Connors, Don Bennett, uh F Felicia Angel, Tia Ballard. Uh, they are all in so many properties from My Hero Academia, One Piece, Dragon Ball Z, Full Metal Alchemist, uh, Attack on Titan, uh, Fairy Tale. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, a whole bunch of yeah, stuff. just Kinshin tons Impact of stuff. Yeah, uh, we're we're bringing in. We've got we'll have more uh, of one of our niches that we haven't really talked about, but we bring in internet talent. That has been one of PopCon's specialties. That a lot of other events don't touch on with YouTubers now, uh, TikTokers, sure. uh, Twitch streamers. We're going to have several coming in. Uh, we don't have all their signatures back yet, uh, but we have some fan favorites coming in uh, from uh, from our past, I should say. Uh, but uh, but we we have one new one, Freckled Zelda. If anybody that watched America's Got Talent, uh, she was uh, the one that came out dressed full elf. Yeah, playing an ocarina, and she has one of the most beautiful singing voices that you will ever have heard. Only America's Got Talent can find find this person and give them the stage. Uh, and she did she did fantastically. She now has, uh, I think, eight million TikTok followers. She wow. just started a YouTube. So for those of you out there like me that have a YouTube channel, she went from no followers, and then now maybe six months later, she's already broken a million. Wow. Oh, I, I'm so envious, but she is super talented. Me too. Um, she's likely going to perform at at PopCon for no additional fee. Wow. So that's, it's something really special. So, uh, and then we have more people to announce. So the India Indy is still an active recruiting phase. So, so you need to go to popcon.us and you can click on Indiana PopCon. You can p click on Louisville and get the updates. You can purchase your tickets right there. I will put all this in the show notes. Uh, if you see Carl, go up and give him a high five. Or if you don't want to, you know, touch Concrud hands, you guys can, yeah, elbow it or wave. Give a Vulcan wave. Carl would appreciate it. Uh, but he'll be on his little scooter, as I'm sure he will, or his little cart. Probably not. <laughs> no, not this time? We, 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 we banned our own carts being on carpet during show hours. Uh, just because some people were being a little too reckless. And so we just don't do that anymore. <laughs> Was it you? No. Nope. No. Nope. Okay. So nope. you're, you, you follow the rules. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay. After hours, maybe, but not during, not during. All right. Well, that's great. Carl, thank you so much for being on. I cannot encourage people enough to go to PopCon. It's awesome. Let's fill up Louisville. It's a new con. Let's give them some support. And if you have suggestions on guests that you think would be awesome or categories, send it right to Carl. He's interested. One last note. I just remembered that I forgot. We are, we're bringing in four world-class magicians into Louisville that have, uh, three of which I believe have been on Penn and Teller's Fool Us. Oh, that's a big one too. Yeah. So they're, they're going to be doing one main stage performance, but they're also going to be doing little $10 shows that you can go in and be small group. Yeah. Like close up magic. Right on and the do magic. A... Wow. That yeah, is really cool. Really special. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Once again, Indie PopCon, Louisville PopCon, go to it, follow the links in the show notes and reach out to Carl. If you have questions or guest suggestions, he is open to it. Yes, Thanks, absolutely. Carl.
Thanks so much for being on. Thank you so much. <laughs>